Hey everyone, how's everyone doing on today? Welcome to another cooking video. Yes, another cooking video. So today on the menu, we are going to have a whole chicken. Yes, we have a whole chicken. I'm gonna butter it up, garlic it up real good. And also we're gonna have on the menu with that some uh, corn and as well as some Brussels sprouts are on the menu again. And let's see, I don't know. I might cook macaroni and cheese, we'll see. Either that or maybe some, yeah, we'll, we'll cook some macaroni and cheese. I just, we'll do macaroni and cheese on today's cooking video, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'll go ahead and wash my hands. get started on our chicken. Wash our chicken up real good. Always wash your chicken up. Um, before cooking it, get all the uh, stuff off of there, all the juices off of there, and also take anything that's in it or on it off of it um, as you before you start cooking it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Be very careful with the knife, that way you don't poke yourself. I'm going to go ahead and wash this chicken. I'm going to go ahead and get it seasoned and put it in the oven. All right, so we got our chicken already washed, triple washed, dried off. So now what we're going to do is we're going to season our chicken. So we're going to season both sides. I'm the kind of person that likes to season both sides of my chicken. I don't know about you. But I like to season both sides of my chicken. So I'm gonna take some of this garlic oil that, yes, that I made, that I did the garlic video on a while back. And I'm gonna put some garlic oil on there. Mmm, I love the smell of garlic oil. You know, it's better than getting it out of the store, I'm telling you. You save lots of money just by Buying some garlic and making it at home. All right, I'm gonna add a little salt to the chicken. I'm gonna add some pepper. And we're gonna season both sides of this chicken. And then we're gonna put some aluminum foil over it. Put it in the oven. And have some garlic pepper seasoning here. I'm gonna sprinkle that on it. And we got some Famous Dave rub. Add that on there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add some garlic powder. Get our chicken well seasoned. Oh, yes. All right. So now we're going to turn the chicken over onto this side. Okay. And we're also gonna do the same thing. Oil, some garlic oil, I'm also gonna put some oil down in here too. Season it with salt. And 
man, we're gonna put this chicken in the oven for about, say, about an hour, 30 minutes to about at least two hours, I would say, or until it's juicy, very tender, and falling off the bone. I like my chicken to fall off the bone. That way we have some good old chicken. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So now we're gonna let this chicken bake for two hours. And then uh, once it's done, we'll take it out. It'll be juicy, falling off the bone. So I have a different way of cooking the macaroni this time. Normally I would do it uh, from scratch by making my own cheese sauce and everything like that. Sometimes I like to cheat a little bit and do it the easy way by either using the box kind or simply just getting some uh, ragu cheese sauce. You know, they used to have prego cheese sauce, which I thought tasted so good. But then they had to discontinue it. I don't know why. But they should bring Prego cheese sauce back. They should. But Ragu is definitely a good brand here. Uh, so we're going to make the macaroni. And then we're going to put this on here. Put some seasonings on it. And then put this in the oven and let it bake in there for a little while. So that's another way you can make macaroni. The easy way. Yes. That's why they have pasta cheese sauce. You can also use this on spaghetti in place of red sauce, or you can mix it with red sauce, or you can mix this here with um, Alfredo sauce and make a delicious creamy Alfredo cheese sauce.
So for the pasta, I'm gonna use rotini for the macaroni. Uh, normally, you see people use elbow noodles, but it doesn't hurt to switch up some. So I'm gonna use a little rotini today. When it comes to macaroni and cheese, you can use any type of pasta you want to make your macaroni and cheese. Rotini, bucatini, well, rotini, uh, you can even use, a, uh, I don't know if pepperdale pasta will work, but that's something worth trying. Uh, uh, panini, uh, penne pasta you can use. And you know the elbow noodles, of course, you can use that as well. So we're gonna let this macaroni cook. Take the lid off of that. I'm gonna add a little salt to the water. That helps add flavor to the pasta as it cooks. By adding salt to the water. Macaroni. Now all I gotta do is just pour this cheese sauce on it. And then put this in the oven and let it bake. That way we have baked macaroni and cheese. It's kind of like a box kind where you take the little package 
And um, just put the cheese on here with a little milk, cream, and butter. This time I'm doing it a different way. seasonings to it. Also add a little seasonings to the Brussels sprouts here. Look at those. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Add some pepper. Season these up a little bit. Oh, what else? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. So that the macaroni doesn't taste bland, we're going to add a little seasoning, a few seasonings to it, so it won't taste bland. So we're going to add some garlic pepper seasoning, and we're going to add a little, a little Cajun spice to it, and I think that should do it. Oh, and also a little lemon pepper, a little lemon pepper. Also on the Brussels sprouts too. Mix that in there like that. And we're going to go ahead and transfer these to a pan. about 20 to 25 minutes until it's golden brown on the top. 